I'm going to have my munchie before we start. Oh. Hi everyone, welcome back to Layla Land. Thanks for joining in today's video. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just just go with it. Um, We're going to be talking through my January favourites, which I don't know if anybody watches. I don't know if anybody is still interested in. I still like watching favourites videos and I really like doing favourites videos because I think sometimes I get so busy with the kids, homeschooling, the gym, studying, filming, editing, blogging, makeup in, like it just, I end up just whizzing through the days and the weeks and the month. And before I know it, time has marched on and I've not really stopped to digest a lot. So. I like to sit and do my little monthly favourites and kind of have a little ponder over what I've been liking, what I've been enjoying, what I haven't been enjoying and just have a, just have a think and a, just a stop and a take stock of the month. So that's what we're doing, okay? We're just going to jump straight into it as well. Um, before I do jump straight into it though, however, clearly not jumping straight into it, are we? There we go, that's line number one. Um, number one little question for you is I'm currently testing out a makeup product. Can anybody tell what it is? Can anybody guess what it might be? Leave your little answer in the comment um, and that will be revealed in a video very soon. Um, number two, are you subscribed? What's happening? What's happening? Look, it's free, it's informative, it's occasionally entertaining, sometimes even on purpose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I do it on purpose, sometimes I'm just an idiot. Either way, I don't mind you laughing at me, it's fine. Um, just head down there and subscribe if you're not. I would love it, in all seriousness, if you would consider becoming a member of my little internet family because, you know, I think we've got quite a nice bunch here. I really do. Um, so that would be nice to have you along. So let's jump straight into the January 2020 favourites. I can't, I still can't get my head around it being 2020. All right, first we're gonna go shower stuff and this is, oh, it just makes me happy. So this is the soap and glory, the scrub of your life and it really, really is, I love it. Um, I don't know if you can tell that I do like pink as a color. I don't know if that you know comes across to you um but one of the reasons i love it is that it's pink the actual scrub itself is pink and it's got like it's got like these glittery kind of pink beads in it as well which aren't the like horrible polluting nasty beads um so oh god the smell i just got a whiff i just got a whiff there's just the soap and glory scent from the kind of core range is just so fresh. You just go with me, you smell clean. Do you know what I mean? There's just that freshness, there's that really nice freshness to it. I just leak thought. Um, and this with the one I'm gonna show you next, oh, just leaves my skin so soft and smooth and nourished and just um just nice and just feeling nourished and soft and nice as well as somebody who has dealt with eczema and dry skin all my life trust me a lot of exfoliators tend to just make your skin look drier because it kind of just roughs up the top layers and doesn't it's more about scrubbing off than nourishing and doing anything nice for your skin whereas this i feel like is gentle enough to kind of do the exfoliation part of it but also it's kind of got that creaminess and that skincare um, element to it, which also makes the skin feel supple and moisturised and nourished as well, so that the new skin turnover underneath that dead skin that it's kind of sloughed off is coming through really nicely and really healthily and feels really nice as well. So you thought. Um, I always follow it up as well in the shower with the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Body Wash. Again, the scent is ridiculous i don't particularly get on with the pump on the lid because it doesn't for me churn out as much product as i would like and i can tend to stand there just kind of pumping at it for ages before i get anywhere near as much product as i want so i tend to just unscrew the lid and just kind of pour it out the bottle really but oh my god, just the scent is so nice. I bloody love it. Cleanliness is essential when godliness is improbable. 
yep, that, that goes with me. That actually does go quite well. What I love about this as well is, again, it's got that skin care element for me as well, as somebody, again, who is kind of on the drier side with skin. It's such a thick um, shower cream, and it lathers into a really nice, thick, soft, um, luxurious lather as well. It's like, it's not one that just washes away really easily. It is certainly not drying on the skin as well. So using this with the scrub, which is already moisturising your skin and getting all that dead stuff off the top, this really then sinks in and nourishes and just, oh, it's just gorgeous. My skin feels so comfortable, which as I say, if somebody that suffered with horrific eczema when I was a child and then dry, tight skin for most of my life after that, having comfortable, supple, soft, nourished skin is really important to me. So yes, highly recommend that if um, you are somebody that really appreciates having soft skin. Also on the kind of Exmaray route, um, I've never had a problem with sensitivity with these either or irritation at all. Absolutely nothing with the scrubs, with this, with any of the other fragrances I've used. Um, so that's uh, very much recommended. Mm, okay. Or recommended by me. What else? Oh, we'll still. Oh no, we're in the shower, aren't we? We're still in the shower. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, over Christmas, I discovered Lush shower bombs. Okay. Um, Eagle-eyed Layla Landers will know that we don't have a bath here, and it is a massive bone of contention for me. I hate that we don't have a bath. Whenever Paul and I go away. I stock up on bath bombs and all I want to do the entire time is just have bath after bath after bath after bath. Um, however, Christmas, I was really, really like, oh, look at all the cute Christmassy bath bombs. I want one. Um, and then I discovered Lush do shower bombs, which are Manu obsession. So we did get some over Christmas, if you'd have seen on like my little vlogs, we got some like, I think there's like a Rudolph nose, a polar bear nose, a snowman nose, which was just a carrot. Um, I'm sure there was another one. Can anyone remember? I can't remember. Anyway, um, so I've been and stocked up on some more because, oh my God, they were amazing. So I've got this one, which is kind of a citrusy one. Love it. Um, I've got this one, which is a cloud. Oh, that just smells gorgeous. And that's like a sleepy time kind of one. Ooh, and then I've got these. Oh, that smells all like sherbet -y. Gorgeous, love it. I've got that all over me now, spronkle, spronkle. Um, and we've got a few of each, a couple of each of those. Um, they work just like a bath bomb. So as soon as you put them under water, it starts fizzing up and crumbling. But um, it's weird. They're a lot easier to use than they sound. The first time I used one, I was like, how the hell is this gonna work? Am I gonna have to like, you know? have a nightmare with it but it just kind of just goes on and I think you get that kind of exfoliating property with it and the scent is gorgeous as you smell them out of the bag or you pick them up off the shelf and smell them they're not a strong scent and you kind of think can I smell what it's saying and the citrusy one in particular for me is very like that it's very kind of it's not a strong scent, but as soon as the warm water gets on them and they start fizzing open, oh my God, the scent is so strong. Not in a like overpowering chemically way, just in a like, whoa, this smells amazing. Um, my skin after using them felt amazingly soft. So yeah, they're my absolute new obsession because I feel like I'm getting that cute little bath bomb moment, but in the shower. That's great, so thanks Lush. Do keep them coming. Right, after the shower, we've got body butter and again, we're back to soap and glory. The soap and glory body butter for me is joint favourite with my all time favourite body moisturiser, which is a Garnier one. Um, and then at Christmas, they came out with a few of the uh, gift sets for their skincare range and a couple of like makeup brushes and I think there was a little face palette that have got my girl Wonder Woman on. I am obsessed with Wonder Woman, have been since I was about seven or eight. Um, I love Wonder Woman and everything Wonder Woman stands for. I just love her so much. So anything with Wonder Woman on will get snaffled by me, absolutely. But then it's the same formula. Oh, look at that, it's, it's like, gone down to the bottom already <laughs> um so it's the same formula as the righteous body butter it smells just like it no i think it's the same formula so it's basically just the righteous body butter from soap and glory but it's got the uh, wonder woman 
theme on it put it the right way around shall I uh, which I absolutely love so again it's got that beautiful scent to it and when you put this with the uh, clean on me shower cream and the scrub of your life shower scrub they all kind of complement each other they're from the same kind of core range so the scents complement each other and oh my god okay so we're out the shower we've got our body cream on we're gonna do face now so um i have been very much paying attention to my skin i'm turning 40 this year i've only got a few months left um so i'm really trying to kind of really get on board with skincare and really listen to what my skin needs i've been very very um interested in different serums different ingredients and um, their kind of uses and one thing that has made a huge difference and i'm actually shocked at the difference and i get so many comments now about my skin um has been vitamin c who would have thunk it um i've definitely mentioned before the vitamin c eye gel that i use from boots that has made such a difference to my under eye um i've still got texture under my under eye because that's just what skin does you're supposed to have that's absolutely fine um but the kind of extra texture around my cheeks and my under eye caused by my skin being dehydrated and caused by things that i wasn't doing um and being caused by environmental problems that is absolutely something i can combat and i can rectify and this has been just amazing so this is the revolution skincare 12.5 percent vitamin c super strength formula if you're new to vitamin c i would suggest the um they have another version of this which i think is just three percent i did use that at the beginning and my skin was absolutely fine with it you can sometimes get a little bit of irritation with vitamin c so if you're new to it um just start with a small amount and um a kind of small percentage in the formula and you build up if you need to if you want to yeah in terms of um my skin being a lot more even in tone and texture it's absolutely been a miracle uh, sticking with serums as well this is actually one that i got in i think it was the look fantastic uh, beauty box so this is the e-cooking fragrance free moisturizing serum um which has got like i say it's there's no scent to it it feels quite uh, light and watery um no irritation whatsoever but oh my god if you have got dehydrated skin or dry skin and you need a proper injection of moisture into your skin <gasps> can highly recommend this um i believe like i said i got this in a sub box and i believe it is sold on beauty bay and it'll look fantastic as well so go and have a look uh, they're a fairly new brand i think um uh, but i'm hearing very good things and this has been a wonder ingredient this has been my favorite i can kind of feel that i'm coming to the end of it now and i'm probably going to replace it so this is the ole total effect seven in one anti-aging moisturizer i didn't get it as an anti-aging thing i'm not on that tip at all um but it was more of the the seven effects that it listed i don't have those oh yeah there we go uh with vitamins visibly smoothens fine lines and brightens skin tone and that as i say was something i was looking for i was looking for things that dealt with fine lines and could inject some vitamins into my skin directly and more looking at you know things that were hydrating and nourishing with the thought process that that would in turn deal with the fine lines um so yeah i found this really really good it's quite a heavy moisturizer um as i say my skin again is on the drier side so it can cope with a heavier moisturizer for during the day if you are somebody who's on the more normal side i would say use this as a night cream you only need a slight little bit of it it does leave kind of a quite a white cast because it's got an spf in it as well which is something that i again was really really um attracted by um so yeah you do kind of get that white cast as you're putting it on because of the spf but that disappears after a few seconds so yeah highly recommend this one loved this one right I have a couple of makeup products i don't have a lot because i didn't really use a lot in january i have been buying makeup and i have been um receiving makeup in um subscription boxes but it's stuff that i've kept to one side so that i can test on camera for you lot and we can kind of do reviews and first impressions so 
I just don't have a lot of uh, makeup to show you. But um, the two that I do have are the Far Starlight Skin Tune Blur. I see uh, Jackie Anna, I see Tammy Clark using this a lot. Um, and it was one that looked amazing for um, evening out texture and just giving a really good flawless base. Uh, so I thought I would give it a try. The um, full size bottle is £50 and I was a little bit hesitant to pay that much to test a product. Um, so I got this instead, which is a smaller size. This is, uh, this is 10 mil and this was £20. So I figured I was all right with that. That was fine. I was prepared to pay that. And oh my God, I will so be invested in the full size when I can. This is like nothing I have ever used before. It, the texture is bizarre. It almost feels silicone, but it's a, it's a, it's a water-based primer. Um, and it's got, it's just infused with skincare. It just melts into the skin. It doesn't feel tacky afterwards. You can use it on its own and your skin will look the most radiant healthy it has ever looked it is absolutely incredible right the last makeup -y one i've got is actually this mascara from primark beauty this is the false lash queen mascara i thought this and i still think that this is a dupe for the Too faced better than sex mascara which i've used and i think whoever named that mascara um needs a cuddle quite frankly bless him because i just found it the most underrated mascara i've ever used it has no effect on my eyelashes whatsoever <laughs> um but obviously it's an expensive one and then i saw this in primark for three pounds the packaging in the component looks exactly like the Too Faced one. Even the box that it came in was exactly like the Too Faced one. So I do think this is supposed to be a dupe for that one. Oh my God, this is like my new favorite everyday mascara. My favorite mascara for ages has been the revolution, the, mas the, the mascara revolution. And I still love that one. That is still up there. Um, I also love the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit, love that one. This, however, is somewhere in the middle of those two. If I want really dramatic, thick, clumpy lashes, which I do love, I go for the Revolution one. If I just want sort of sleek, long lashes, I go for the Benefit one. This sits perfectly in the middle. I get the, um, I get the thicker looking lashes, I get the longer looking lashes, I get that nice little, almost clumpy, but not quite clumpy effect. I love it. I absolutely love it. It is as black as black can be. It is the deepest black mascara I've ever used. So it's absolutely perfect. And it was three quid. And it comes in a pink component. So that makes me even happier. <laughs> love it. I just had a heart attack that I'd just thrown that at the dog then, but he's out there. That's okay. <gasps> uh, right. On to a random item now which is my kitchen cleaner. So our cats over Christmas have been having a bit of a nightmare. They've had an allergic reaction to uh, some treatments they were given and um, have caused really, really horrific skin irritations. They're all cured now, they're all better now and have got full fur everywhere, which is lovely. Um, but in all that, I was then very, very mindful of what I was using to clean everywhere. Um, I was basically steam cleaning most things. Uh, but then I found this uh, surface cleaner from Method which is non-toxic, um, I think it's plant-based, yeah, plant-based technology, um, so I've been using that really for the cats, and I'll be honest, I wasn't convinced it was going to clean as well, but oh my god, it's been beautiful, it smells gorgeous, this is the French lavender, yeah, this is the French lavender one, and oh my god, it smells gorgeous, obviously it doesn't smell chemically, but it cleans so well, there's such a nice shine, even on my hob, it just left a really nice shine, no grease left behind, so I was really, really impressed with that one, and as you can tell, I've pretty much gone through the whole paquette. Okay, the last thing on my list of things I've been loving in January are afternoon naps. I have a condition called chronic fatigue syndrome which is used to be known as me um and it's basically as it sounds a chronic fatigue situation um fatigue is something more than tiredness it's more than just being a bit tired and needing a, a good night's sleep it's 
it's I'm, I'm not going to go into it but it's just it's something more than that and it's something that can't just be you know rectified with a good night's sleep and a you know an early night and everything's fine again um and it is something that i do need to start not taking more seriously but i need to start making it more of a priority because i am a carer to my youngest daughter um i'm obviously a mum anyway um but i have a bit more of a role to play and i feel like you know we as carers can't give as much care as we would like to give if we're not looking after ourselves first you know it's that thing you can't fill from an empty cup so um i've been trying to manage the fatigue and trying to kind of find a rhythm to it and one thing we've noticed is if i actually just go and have half an hour in an afternoon and it's when i go absolutely dog tired anyway but if i just go and get my head down for half an hour in an afternoon then i sleep better at night i i started thinking no i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna sleep properly at night time but i can always tell if i haven't had time for a nap because i can't sleep at night then um but yeah i'm sleeping a lot better at night time i'm feeling a lot more mentally alert i'm feeling a lot more physically alert um and that in turn is helping me do a better job with the children and everything else that i've got to do in a day and is helping me be a lot more creative and um my mental health is improving and being a lot more even as well um because i feel like i'm taking control a little bit so i've been loving afternoon naps as well highly advocate the nap situation there so that is it that is uh my little list of the main things i have been loving throughout january um can't wait for next month because i've got lots and lots of things to be trying this month so hopefully i'll have um a nice little selection for you at the end of this month so i will leave you to it thanks ever so much for watching again um it is so good to be back with you and thank you so much for all the messages saying that it's nice to have me back it's nice to be missed i'll be honest i will be honest because i've missed all you as well so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you subscribe down below make sure you're having an amazing day whatever it is you're doing next and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye